Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. Today I'm headed up to Gainesville, Texas. That's the starting point of my ride around Texas, which will be starting tomorrow. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. This video is sponsored by BSG Wraps. They wrap my trailer and they did an awesome job. And they can wrap stuff for you too. Their link will be down below and their phone number. Call Skip and tell them Lone Star Rider sent you. Uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm excited. Weather's looking great. And uh, y'all need to follow along with me on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. And uh, while I'm doing this one month right around Texas. Got a new mattress. I'll take a look at it here. All right, here is the mattress. It's a six inch trifold mattress from Millard. Was it Kevin's Adventure? I think that's his channel. If not, I'll put it in here. I bought one of these and he thought it was great. So I needed a thicker mattress instead of my three inch. It wasn't very, uh, it was comfortable, it just went flat laying on it in spots I laid on. So hopefully this will work out better. And the trifold might be even a better thing. Um, that doesn't look like six inches, does it? <laughs> uh, it's all rolled up and squashed. Teaming that box right there. So I'm gonna cut it open. Don't want to cut the bed material for sure. This is harder to do with one hand. There we go. Oop, things are starting to expand. <laughs> this is uh, supposed to be hyperallergenic. And looks like it's been vacuum sealed. All right. Well got to get the rest of this plastic off got some of those on there and I already know it's gonna to have to turn over because this is the bottom all right I'll be right back with you the stuff is then vacuum sealed or something so I'm sure as soon as I start poking on this letting air in it's gonna expand see if you can uh, hear this Suck it in here. Right there, it only looks four inches. Oh, this ain't zipped up. Not zipped up. Did you know? Guess I ought to keep this. Okay, I think that's going to work out just fine. They even got me some extra space over here. here at Texas State Park, Ray Roberts Lake, the Greenbelt uh, area. Uh, I'm checking out a historical marker over here. Only reason I'm stopping and taking a little bit of a break too. So, uh, let's go check out the historical marker. 
Yeah, that's where I parked. Saw some runners out here earlier. And you're supposed to pay a $2 fee out here for the use of this since it's a state park. But I have a Texas State Park Pass. This uh, park here looks like it's been kept out fairly well. And there's uh, several horse trails out here you could take. And they got ramps out there uh, to let your horse out. Uh, this uh, Texas State Highway is... Uh, 428 I believe and I was headed that way around the lake to go up to Greensville this uh, historical marker Elm Fort Bridge for this bridge here uh, they replaced this bridge here in the 1920s uh, with this other bridge concrete bridge so now all this bridge does is foot traffic it's well kept up though and it's a historical bridge that was important for the two-way traffic. The Elm Fork of the Trinity River here. For the growing automatic traffic in Denton County in the 1920s. So. This was, was, was one of the only two accessible iron steel bridges in Denton County. And I'm going to continue on over to uh, Greenville. Yeah, that's my starting point for tomorrow, so I gotta be over that way. Somewhere, anyway. <laughs> we'll see <laughs> where I end up tonight. north of Gainesville I think they still call this Gainesville Texas here uh, on the side of I-35 loud motorcycles and traffic coming by but I found this uh, quirky looking thing here and I'm not sure what it was but I'm gonna look it up if I find that I'll insert it here uh, but let's take a <laughs> instead of me jabbering let's take a look at it This right here looks like a uh, a knight on a chessboard. To me, that's what it looks like, and it's a uh, of course it's a horse, and then you got a little mini castle here. And there's a uh, I-35, and the Texas border's just up the way a little bit, not very far. Got the uh, sun setting over there. And we have this pavilion over here too so I'm not sure the sign over here on this uh, horse says visitors welcome well I'm a visitor <laughs> I would think I'm a visitor so I'm not sure exactly what this was but if you know what it is put it down in the comments uh, this place is chained up not locked just bob wired and uh, way over there is a uh, pavilion uh, of course you got the, uh, an auto dealership over there and some I'm not sure what it is and there's a group of trees right over there that has a fence around it so I'm not really sure exactly what that is either uh, but anyway I thought the the little castle here and the knight or horse was pretty cool so I stopped and checked it out. I'm going to be headed over to the uh, Walmart here in Gainesville, Texas. Uh, that's why I'll be parking tonight after I grab a bike to eat somewhere around here. Yep. 
I'll uh, chat with you later. Catch y'all on the road.